Come on. Get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bon dia. Ela se estava aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for me. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better for all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker, senor, let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, senor Branco. Had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife. I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> Am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação pro senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. What is going to sound? Meu Deus! Sim, sí, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. There's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <gasps>
E aí amigos, beleza? Tudo bem? Quem fala é Fio Fox, entrando no jogo Max Payne 3. E é o pedido especial do Luistíssimo Bartola. Já comecei aqui com muita ação que o jogo oferece de sobra, né? Vai não. Vai na frente. Cara de 12 aqui é sempre complicação. Caraca, por que que você saiu do cover, cara? Não pedi pra sair do cover. Nossa, tu morreu muito feio, velho. Debaixo da mesa. <risos> Let's go, come on. Ok, I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comfortable. Uma longa. Opa, 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 opa. Come on. Espera. Estou me armando. Vamos lá. Morre, desgraça. O velho morreu. Não vou, não. Nossa, cara. Eu tenho que levantar a cabeça. Esse é um erro fatal. As marcas da bala no colete é muito legal também. Estamos mortos? Não há such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. I'm going to puke if we stay here much longer. It was a lot shinier than a favela, and rent would be easier to collect. Maybe Bronco would take pity on all the poor bastards who got evicted. I just had to keep him alive to find out. Same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? <laughs> Perto aqui tem que matar logo. Vamos lá. Pega em tudo que é lugar, mesmo no cara.
Já era, cara da 12. Sem chance. Tem que jogar uma granadinha, né? Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone. Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Eh? I just I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. Hmm? Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Caraca, velho. Todo mundo de rapel. Ó, o engraçadinho daqui que é o problema. Maldito aqui, cara. O cara quer chegar perto, tem que prestar sempre atenção. Tirando, hein? Ah, caraca, velho. Toma. Foi tarde, cara. Já era pra você. Parte foi bem apelona, cara. Porque esses cobras aqui são uma porcaria. Vão destruindo e nada serve. Tem que ter onde tem um analgésico aqui. A situação como encontra é bem complexa. Só que não tem. security system is back online things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in Seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! He 
was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was worth. They could invoice me. Hmm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcelo, educated at rich kid finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Caraca. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Graças a Deus que corre é o pior, cara. Caraca, brincadeira, hein, cara. Esse colete é bom mesmo, hein. Fica <risos> quieto aí. <risos> Fica quieto, rapaz. Pelo amor de Deus, cara. Ah, toma tiro na virilha e não morre. Tu ia, amigo. Ih, rapaz. Tá de mini canhão, é isso mesmo? Caraca! Brincadeira, hein? Palhaço! Parece que nós tínhamos visto o pior disso. O elevador me levaria de volta para o Rodrigo's office, onde nós poderíamos esperar o resto de tudo. Não, não vale a pena. It wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senhor Branco, Senhor Branco, I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. Senhor Branco, open up. I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew yes. there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! Rodrigo! 
Rodrigo! Shit. Huh. God damn it. <laughs> of course he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, something caught my eye. Figures. desk with a bullet in his head, and the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. Caraca, que situação, velho. Que situação. Shit. If I survive this, it'd be a victory for gross incompetence. Você, sabe que eu sair daqui? The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. I was in no state to save his body from the flames. I hadn't saved him from the gunman either. I'm sorry, kid. Pouquíssima bala. Posso morrer aqui não. The only way out was to use that final 
filing cabinet. A vida estourou por causa do calor mesmo, entendi. Ei, caramba! So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Thank you. 